I don't think you're gonna come across a farmer that tells you they farm for the money because that I mean there's money in farming and there's a lot of there's a lot of risk in farming we don't do this for the money we do this because we love it and we enjoy it I grew up on this farm my granddaddy my granddaddy bought this farm when he came back from World War II uh, raised he raised four children here one of them being my mother and uh, I spent every summer and every weekend here since I could, you know, four or five years old and I've never wanted to be anywhere else. If we, if we get to go another year, we've done well. And uh, last year was a very trying year with weather damages and uh, facing a new problem with white flies and cotton that we have not been facing before last year. And last year was very trying. Uh, financially, uh, mentally, you know, when you feel like you're beating your head up against a rock and, you know, it, there's no, there's no fixing it after it's done. And, uh, but we put our britches back on and pull them up a little higher and go again. Certain times of the year there's more sleepless nights than there are nights with sleep. Uh, you know, there's bills and yields and you, Everything's running through your mind. It, it makes it very difficult to sleep at night. And you know, there's not a farmer in the world that don't try his best every day. Uh, and sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't. And uh, it really makes it hard on those days when it don't work out. If I had a nugget of wisdom to share to a, an old farmer, or a young farmer, or a, a fella that thinks he wants to farm, I think it'd be to, to pay attention to what other people are doing. Find somebody that's successful and build your operation around theirs. Uh, and it doesn't have to be just one person. Take a hundred people. Learn one thing from, some, from everybody you know and put it all together and make it work.